What did you cause me, crew? Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Without further ado, I got another video for you. So, as you can see, my next Sag is Miss Scarlet, okay? That's what the internet says. She is Sagittarius. So, here we are. All right? Now, um... Personally, this young woman terrifies me. It has nothing to do with how she sounds, how she looks. When I see people, I can see their soul, okay? <laughs> I I'm I, I I see right into the depths of your soul, and what I see, it's frightening, it's terrifying. Okay, but with that being said, let's just go ahead and see who is Scarlet. I believe her name is Sierra, with an S. Okay. Of course, we know her history. She's gone through a lot. She's um broken. Those chains, she's elevated herself, she's made a name for herself, using her talents, her own um, her own strength and courage, and that we have to commend. As a black woman, as a black girl, okay, as a colored woman, okay, brown-skinned girls, we have to commend that, okay? But energetically, who is Scarlett? Who is this young woman? This late, this... This lady is scary. Like, <laughs> it's definitely an eater, be eaten. And I feel like, you know, that, that comes along with nurture and nature, like being raised in an environment. Like, there's, there's definitely this energy of, bitch, it can go there, okay? She she means everything she says. If it gets violent, it'll get gully. It'll get there. Oh. she may have been sex trafficked or definitely um put on some type of whole stroll um there's something about a this feels like a like a some type of shelter some type of refuge that she may go to or that she has but i feel like there's some type of stockholm syndrome that she got with some type of pimp there's something going on here that she's really still connected. I feel like there's that there, she may have been ushering and like filtering things through the black market. This she has connections on the dark web. I I just feel like it's just kind of just trying to stay alive. Like I can understand the why, but who it's created her to be is scary. Okay. Definitely something here about knowledge of root work and conjuring and spirituality. There is some type of like spiritual house or like some type of refuge. I don't know why it has to be called that, but it's something that she can go back to. These people, they have altars. It's some type of temple. They have root works. There's um root workers and there's, there's all this. I don't know if she got connected with some Jamaicans or something. Okay, I do feel like she does have a lot of um, principles and standards and codes of ethics that she stands on. But I feel like it's like street code, okay? <clears throat> okay, type shit. <sighs> There's this very destructive, chaotic energy. I feel like she is trying to turn away from this. Okay, but there are still things in her past that are haunting her and that are still um, very well encouraging her in her decisions. There is some type of pimp or some type of masculine energy that she still answers to. There's also something here about... Um, being gay for pay, for opportunities, okay? So she might sleep with the same gender, but it's, it's th this is that any means necessary. I don't fuck with anybody who will do anything by any means, bitch. You got to have morals. You got to draw the line somewhere. I understand you be hungry, you know, cold, no roof over your head, but you got to have standards, and morals and values. You can't just do anything for money. 
There's something here about being very... I feel like she plays dumb. She's very narcissistic. She's a gaslighter. Don't believe this facade of this this doe-eyed. I don't know. And this no, this this woman is very calculated. She's very connected. She's very strategic. Okay. I feel like she likes to lo love bomb people, very two-faced and low-key kind of lazy, kind of selfish. Would rather just sell pussy. Okay. She is somebody's side piece. She's somebody's mistress. And she has been since she was young. There is like some type of coven or like a play. It feels Jamaican. It feels like there's Jamaicans or people or somebody from Caribbean descent, okay? Somebody got some roots on her. Now, there might come a time, and she, I feel like she might even end up in a relationship with a woman if she's not already. It's just it's just for opportunities. It's just uh, everything she does is for an opportunity. Nothing is legit. Nothing is sincere. Nothing is genuine. It's just to, to get ahead. And once again, I understand where she's coming from, like literally. But I'm all about integrity, respect, honor, and you know, having a conscience, but once you, once you don't even associate with your conscience, that's scary. There's something here about social media. I feel like she knows how to work social media. She knows how to trend. Okay. She knows, um, she might open some type of online store, start, uh, filtering things that way. I, but I also feel like there's going to be some type of conflict or a separation on a public platform. So she might get in, into a relationship and they're going to break up online. Okay. Also, she may start facing legalities. I feel like there's a lot of people that are just stealing from her. Okay. She's just signing things too quick. A lot of misinformation. Somebody's going to out her. Okay. I feel like she's been into stolen identities, fraudulent activities. Okay. Okay. There's definitely something about bodies being buried with cinder blocks. Something about, um, I ain't never seen nothing like that. It's like they'll dig a hole, put the body, and then pour concrete over the hole, over the grave. I ain't shit. This, this, this lady is so untrustworthy. She ain't got no loyal in, loyalty in her heart at all. No patience. She's not genuine at all. She's not considerate. She's not kind. But it's like, I understand this is who, who her, what her circumstances have made her to be. I'm the most non judgmental, unbiased motherfucker I know. Okay. I just say what I sense. I can look at it and say the why, right? The motive. And this is coming from a little girl who had to do what she had to do. I get that. But who has created her to be is terrifying because she gives no fuck. She will step right over you if it'll get her where she wants to go. And there's something about like coercing young women into like prostitution. It's like she... There's something about um, hacking devices and Stealing tablets and stealing like stealing phones and like hijack it just fraud, just fraud, just fraudulent shit. Living this rock star lifestyle, doing all this strange shit for money, addictions and drugs, and living this very fast life. I'm done. Until next time.